and that will be... So I don't know who picked what. Two power-ups, four aviators on the start. Milton has Ring already at red. He had some escort, but his buddy just left. That's what that's what they do. You realize Milton is here with the power up. You probably go on to do other things. It's a better use of your time. Hopefully the levels are all good. I did check that it was picking up the game audio before this, but aviators make use of their two power up start for a little lead. Yeah, I think this is the, uh, av uh, the the ninja's map pick. CMT1B. Link discharges, almost get mil almost gets Milton with his soon-to-be quad. Little little green bath. That's fine. Uh, that's not so fine. And the mega health that's usually here is not ready. This is one spawning in four seconds, but is it that one? Oh, it is that one, so he timed that Mega Health. Alright, and just like that, the ninjas reclaim the lead. One minute and a half in. And Milton is not happy with this uh, delayed good start for his team, as in his team not getting a good start right away. And, well, it's payback time, essentially. So, a five frag lead. Six frag lead. Yeah, I'm not gonna count every every frag. But Milton is back on time for the next squad and the next Mega Health. So, stick around for some Miltoning a bit of it on this map. Two enemies at red, cleans up the place. And the red is even here for him. More kills, I'm not sure what's he going for through that teleport. If he were to take it, because I don't know that layout so well on this map. I just remember that it's the map with the uh, wallpaper, like my grandfather's home. Or some, some such thing, actually my great-grandparents' home, rather. Is the Miguel going? Uh, the red going to be up? Not just yet. Link has the red on him. Maybe he picked that up. He's the only one with armor on the heavier side, and Fritten has the shafts. Milton, the first quad two. Billy the kangaroo. Let's see what he does. He's the only ninja without a weapon. Not that that stopped a ninja before. Okay, so he's going to get the red, I guess. Yeah, here we go. Ah, goes for the kill instead. I was wondering why did he stop air strafing to get to the red armor box? That's because he probably heard Rakate jumping and went for the kill instead. Let's Skirk have the red. He can afford to take them out, so it's all good. Ah, oh, shit. Water on my paper here. So. Four minutes in. Ninjas have a 40 frag lead, or thereabouts. Milton looking sure that. Uh, trying to make sure that they stick to that 40 frag difference and actually improve on it by reclaiming rights to the quad run. And the frag count is increasing, the lead is increasing more accurately. I mean, this is both work, but this is what I meant to say. 
Vrit and jumping in those rockets. And Milton's going to have... Okay, so Red, is he going to make it to all of the power-ups in time? Rakit gets the Pent. And Vrit then gets the Quad. So no power-up. All the ninjas. I think I saw Ring. Yeah, there we go. Milton picks up Ring. Oh well, that was that's where that's where Milton went, taking care of the quad at the yellow. And Rakit will be glad he didn't. <sighs> Never mind. I was thinking he'd be glad he didn't go for two aggressive plays because he managed to save up all of his yellow for after the pant run. As you may be aware, damaging yourself while you are holding the pent actually chews away at your armor, even though it doesn't matter while you have the pent. After the pent, you're out of armor. And Milton back at it. No mega health for him just yet this time around. Team kill, but he gets the yellow. And the frag difference is increasing. It's, it's 20 more frags in two minutes. Yeah. Yeah, who'd have thunk it? Milton doing his thing. Actually, I haven't checked the global uh, scores for everybody. Link dropping a shaft to Milton and giving himself away one more time. So that's... we saw Milton dying once. So, hashtag just Milton things. But uh, his, his teammates are doing okay as well, especially Billy. Whom we saw perform a nice run earlier. So we are on track for a steady 10 frags, 10 extra frags per minute. Not, not frags per minute, but frag lead <laughs> per minute. It was, it was 60 at 6 minute, it's now 70 at 7th minute. I don't know how long they will be sustaining this, but uh, judging by Milton's form, it looks like this could go on. And you wouldn't tell by looking at this the way it is right now, but the Aviator has actually got the better start. They got almost all the power-ups, all the useful ones, that is. Unfortunately, their 4-5 frag lead was quickly cancelled. Okay, we are going beyond plus 10 frag difference per minute as we are now reaching 90. And I believe it's time to give Milton what he deserves. which is a good dose of ice cream, even though it's probably not going to work well in a sauna. Milton has only died once since the last time we checked, and overall... Right, so I'm hoping this remains smooth for everybody. I was checking out the replays lately before um, uploading, exporting to YouTube, and I found some stuttery bits like I struggled with early on, uh, early on, a few months ago. So I'm a bit worried that this is still going on. Like double frames, that kind of stuff. While the BS says, everything's A-OK, -okay. and Milton is delivering. Nice link. Okay, that's more ice cream. For everybody's favorite fin. Gets the red again. He's the only rocket alive for his team. 
Aviators have one. They also have a shaft. Uh, Vareten waiting for the pent. We're at the pent here. Milton got swarmed. So he's gonna take it. Yeah, Vareten takes it. Although he has run out of rockets. That's a good pine he took. Too bad he had a pent. And that grenade was essentially useless. Oh, cool. Milton failed a simple jump. I must have blinked. We'll just uh, chalk it down to pressure. Ah, okay, jump to red. And uh, Rakate picks up, picks up the eyes. And that's a nice rocket launcher we've got there. And a pretty, pretty good amount of rockets on him. Is he gonna take out Milton? No, 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 no. Milton has no problems dispatching the pair of floating eyes and survives with plenty of stack to spare. Still a bit of red on him. Billy has the red as well. Okay, Link Quad. That's a long time since we've seen the aviators get one of these. Let's see what he does. So I like how Milton shot the button to prevent Link from crossing with the the, uh, the bridge. If you didn't notice. Uh, he's forced to back off. Good thing there is another in to this room. Oh, he's out of ammunition, actually. Quad axe. Ah, that would have been fun. Everybody loves a quad axe kill. Or an axe anything kill, to be honest. Nice nades from Skirk. And revenge. Yellow is up. Okay, Vreten picks up the yellow. So that's... Two rockets for every team. Quad is coming up now. Milton is already there. Okay, let's... What happened? So Milton was at Quad. And then next time I blinked... Uh, Nautilus was at quad instead, and now it's Rakate who gets the quad. Uh, I mean, it's not a huge issue. The ninjas can afford to lose one quad right now. But I'm a bit surprised that... Nice! And Rakate turns this into a decent b-hop. When life gives you lemon, make lemonade. Ah, I cannot deny the mega health to Milton. Oh, did, did he drop? Yeah, I have three six, so I would see red and blue packs. I wondered for a second, wait, didn't he drop anything to him? He didn't. Checking because you can see weapon packs in Easy Quick 3 6 and 3 2, I think, as well. And rest assured, this is a spectator-only feature. So we are still around the uh, usual target of 10 extra frag difference per minute as... Okay, we're slightly behind, falling slightly behind. We are not close to the plus 140, but... I mean, this is more than enough. So Milton had died one time beforehand. Okay, he's died a few times now. Uh, Baby and Nautilus doing well. And look at that. Yeah, he's doing what he needs to do with the button, make sure. And that's a nice rocket back for the quad. Thank you. He gets Mega again. No yellow for him just yet. It's gonna be up. Link is trying to prevent him, and that didn't work. That was a close call, leaving the pack, the rocket back to Tabo. So that's three rockets for ninjas now. Just Nautilus not having anything. I guess he respawned fresh uh, recently. Would be why he's got nothing. And we make it 240. There we go. Like that. Everybody's in position for pent. 
full RLs for the ninjas if they don't get the spend. Um, well, I have nothing, but uh, I mean, they should be getting this one, is, is the idea here. Elite trick jumping in the stairs from Milton. Oh, there we go. Double power up. Get ready to unzip. This was played, I'm not sure, a couple of weeks ago, I think. It was played at the same time as the uh, Division 2 final. This is open division. And weapon packs are plenty. Link has a red here. Oh, no, it wasn't him, sorry, it was, uh, it was Fritten. Turbo, invisible turbo. Gets ready to go down his underground lair to prepare more tunes for us. Actually, no, he doesn't. Aviator's got the quad, Milton got squished. So he got to see both sides of the bridge overall during this game. He was keeping the bridge up, preventing the uh, enemies from coming across, and he got squished himself being on it. I don't think he squished anybody himself with that. But... How low was Milton? Good enough. Oh, thank you, item timer, for showing me when the LG is. Of course, it's gonna be up. Yellow first. Is it okay going to wait for the yellow or. Yeah, he sticks around. Yeah, he sticks around, takes it. And you cannot. How did he get squished? This doesn't go all the way up unless there is another button I'm not aware of. So the aviators have been fighting back for about 4 minutes, because we got to 140 at around 14th minute, maybe 150, not much more. And they are pushing back. It's unfortunate that it's way too late to make a difference. But keeps the spirits up. Going into the second map, which will be the aviators map pick. Two minutes to go. And I just remembered this weekend that there are also Quake 3 announcer voices for this type of event, so hopefully I remember to do them. Denied! And he even got more speed during that thing from uh, from that rocket, I think it was Scoot, yeah, Scoot's rocket, right at him. Pushed him forward even more. Yellow is up. Not gonna make it on time. Oh, just on the final cells. Running out of quad. That was nice clutch play here. Oh crap, I need to make something happen with the quad again. There he, he does it. Arcade playing in the Bouncy Castle. Rocket back, anybody wants some? Milton is the only RL in his team? Not a problem. What is up? And Billy the Kangaroo will show us what he can do with the axe and a boomstick and a quad. Davai, davai. Yeah, that works too. Hi, Rakit. How would you like to die to a quad? Oh, Link gets it instead. Didn't expect that. Doesn't deny the Mega, but gets the kill anyway. I think Rakit was fragged a couple of times. Link as well. And then Vritten. So that's five kills in this little run.
So here we go. That was the first map. CMT1B. That would be... The ninjas. Uh, yes, the ninjas map pick. Convincing win from them. Uh, and R. And R. And R. E3M7 TDM will be the second map picked by... The aviators. So let me queue that up. Second map E3 M7 TDM, aka uh, aka Rakit's home turf. Quite a few telefrags on this one. Oh, and there are multiple... Yeah, there's at least two of each power-up on this map. Milton gets ring and tent. He will be very visible, but very invulnerable as well, so it all evens out. Doof, just like that. Nice rockets. Armor for when the run is over as well. Ninjas are in red, so yeah, Turbo's his friend, so not gonna shoot him. Yeah, okay, there's an Aurel here. Good to know. Pent yellow and the red in the same room. Seems legit. My battery is charged. Yes, that's cool. I like that. And we already have a 25 frag difference for the ninja, so... Um, if you remember, actually you may not remember, but this is obviously Aviator's map pick. It's been kind of a... Um, I don't know how to say this, but this map pick has been a little infamous in a way this season. This is like three players know it. One of them is Rakit. I think Hang Time knows it as well. He was able to uh, actually provide some com commentary once, I think. Um, so you'd expect the aviators to take the lead here. And in fact, turns out, I guess Milton knows it as well. He hasn't died yet. He's had a pretty good start. And two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. It, it's, it's silly. Two minutes and we have a 25 frag lead. Great start, yeah. Although we do get some surprises along the way, if I remember correctly. I was checking the scores of this while we were casting the other game. And... And I guess all I have to say is stick around. Stick around. Three RLs for the aviators. Yeah, one of the pent. Fort, I'm not sure what that is. Okay, that's this room where uh, Rakate is right now. Milton gets one of the quads. Nautilus gets the yellow right in front of him, so he stopped a little bit to uh, probably utter some variant of Vitu or something. That's fine, he gets a red. A racket, maybe a skirk as well. Aha. I think his buddy wanted to go in for him. Was it his buddy? No, it was an enemy guy. It was one of the blue guys. So the aviators are keeping this uh, challenging for the ninjas, because as you can see, it's been about two minutes since we got to a 25-ish frag difference, and it's still like this. 
And you, as you can tell, there's plenty of fragging going on. And that's a, a little run from Skirk. I don't know whether he actually stole the quad, as he usually does. But the result is here, from him and his buddies. The gap has been somewhat closed, as we... Oh, okay, never mind, it's going up again. Plenty of saving it for his friends. That's uh, Rakate, well equipped. I think we saw some funny shenanigans on this map in, in previous rounds, where people would trigger the nails, and then we'd, we had somebody pushed, uh, essentially blocked from crossing from in front here by a nail coming the opposite direction and stopping them above the lava, which isn't usually something you want to happen. Nice, Rakate hunts down Milton. That's a quad taken out. His team has three RLs right now and some armor. So this is pretty good for the aviators. Three rockets, double PU. Not double quads, but uh, still double power-ups. have a radar view for this map. Eight frags difference. Ten. Come on, aviators. I mean, this is your home map. You should be... This is what you should have been doing all along. Claiming what is yours. And actually, they are doing this to some extent. Although, right now you can't really tell, because this is... Oof, oof. Pauling gets it twice in a row. Three times in a row, sorry. I breathe. I breathe. Yeah, see what I was saying what I was saying about the nails, it triggers pretty from pretty far away. Unless somebody was across and attempting to, to get in here. I think this is what was happening more likely. Seems, seems weird that it would Triggered the, the shooting from. Oh no, it does, it does. It, it really looks like it's when. No, again, somebody's coming in. I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. Fancy brushwork here. Okay, I'll just point and laugh at the fancy brushwork after Milton is done with this. Nice. It sends jibs smattering all around the room. And dies in the process. Uh, yeah, team kills are good. Again, the aviators are working hard at this. And Rakate avoids getting a team kill. Four frags. Playing around the nail trap. Somebody comes the other way. Just, just Billy goes in. Oh, there's a red here, so it it makes sense that he would push aggressively for this. Oh, sweet. Aha, we have double quads for the aviators, and they take the lead. Two quads. That's something you see on no other map. At least in that's in rotation these days. What? Vreten, one of the two aviator squad quads, gets telefragged by the enemy. Uh, that doesn't seem to put an end to the takeover.
Okay, so they have kind of a 15 something frag lead. It's not clear cut which way it's going just yet. But they have regained the lead and control with those. Uh, I guess it's those. I'm not so sure it's the result of this. What what happened here? Those triple RLs plus two power ups they got at, at the fifth minute. More like the two quads at the eighth minute. Which is when they actually took the lead. And they then used the quad to make sure they actually kept on increasing that lead. So halfway through, 15 frags. Aha, here we go, Milton with the pent. And by the way, and when I was saying nice brushwork, the hell is this? Aha, is he waiting to get somebody on the quad? Oh, Skirk is attempting to. Would have been sweet to land the mid-air on an invisible player. So we can hear like a racket with the other quad and he's run out and or been killed. Oh, 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 this is getting a little hairy for Milton. Thankfully, Billy is around to secure the fort. I literally hold the fort. This location is called the fort, so it's fine. Okay, if you just wall hug this thing, you will be fast enough to not get hit by a single nail with the right timing. I'd like to say good to know, but I also would like to keep myself E3M7 TDM free. Little quad for Skirk. And one for Milton, so it's going to be Battle of the Quads. Okay, is that red? But there are two reds on this map, so which one is it? Okay, that's what happens. Skirk gets the upper hand and revenge. Well, revenge, not revenge, but tea bags essentially with the quad. Revenge would be Milton killing him back. Red at nail trap is going to be up. Is it that one? Yes, it's that one. So the aviator is still hanging on to the 10 15 frag lead. Kate with the quad. Captain goes hunting. And okay. So I guess Rakate knows that the quad will be have will be will have to be coming from this way. This is why he's spamming. And we have a good amount of rocket launchers and armors on both sides. Uh, aviators are defending the fort, which means they will be getting, I think it's yellow and mega. I'm not sure anymore. Milton goes in. Cleans the room. Ah, there's a quad in Fort. All right, so it doesn't have the yellow and mega that I was thinking about. It's not here. It's here. It's where Turbo is right now in Pent Quad, down that little uh, hatch here. This is where you have the stuff. Casting from MVDs is pretty cool. I can pause and fly to show things. As long as I don't overdo it, it should be okay. It's 
Somebody still trying to cross. Whom would that be? Nobody, he's gone. Oh wait, he's got the red. So I was going to be waiting. Four rocket launchers for the ninjas. That's not looking good. Teams are tied. Blue leads. That That's... A Milton and Nautilus both died. That's two rocket launchers less for the ninjas. Not a problem, they still take the lead again. I mean, one frag is a very small lead, but it's it's the lead. Aha! No pen for you, so we have Milton on double power-ups duty. Let's see what he does. What he does. Okay, you don't want to fall down there. I don't think you can get back out. Cleans the fort. Get the F out of my ish. Yeah, this is a family-friendly friendly stream, didn't you know? And uh, Milton hasn't had ice cream gifted to him in a long time, so I'll just give him some now. And I guess it is deserved, as the ninjas have inverted the trend. The aviators were leading by some 15 frags for uh, 5 minutes, and it is now the ninjas going up to 15 and then more. Oops, little glitch in the matrix here, I didn't press any keys. Turning point now, yep, definitely looks like it. There's a quad above this, thank you. Thank you, power-up glow. Oh, that was a... Okay, wait. So... That was kind of... What the hell? Yeah, that was a good team kill from Milton. Nice. Oh, sorry about the... Uh... Game clocks, it does that when you demo jump. It'll it'll uh, it'll buff out. Yeah, and we're quite far into the game, so it's going to glitch for some more time, but it'll it'll We'll be okay. There we go. Back to normal now. So we have all of the ninjas in that room. Oh, what the hell? What? Milton took out the enemy, incoming enemy quad and the other guy just like that. Well, he had a quad himself, but that was... Uh, wow. <laughs> that was... Uh, that was something. Uh, that was ice cream for Milton, by the way. Let, let us pause for a second to... Uh, Yep. Right, we can resume your, your usual programming. Skirk looking to clean up the fort. Is it? It was it his friend up there? Oh, uh, it's too late. We won't know. Yeah, it was his friend. So he did a bit of team damage. Well, when in doubt, when the ninjas are pretty stacked again, and Milton with okay, so. And zip. Milton with 40 deaths on this map, so... You can see he has some margin for progression on here, which is a bit scary to think about. Oh, team kills. Two in a row. Get out of my face. What is over? Cleans up the fort anyway. Yeah, and good trigger discipline from Milton not shooting a rocket here. It's written in the Milton TDM 4-on-4 uh, four four guide text file that he's got on Dropbox, with it, which is essentially says one of the hard things to do is to learn to not shoot the rocket launcher when you are low on health. 
and being in a close quarters a situation with somebody with having DRL is a case of this because you will be low health, health very quickly if you, sh if you shoot the weapon. 40 frags difference, yeah, so it's it was over at around the 16th minute when they reclaimed the thing and then Milton did the, did the thing with the quads, as you saw. Turbo chilling in the jacuzzi, nice. So the ninjas turned this around. Just get out of my face. Milton leisurely running around with 40 more frags than his next best teammate. Well, that's where the difference is if you look at everybody else's scores. So, that's the second map out of the way. Ninja take surprisingly take uh, the aviators map pick. I mean, surprisingly with air quotes because they're still the ninjas. But the aviators almost had this in the back. The first one wasn't so bad either, if you remember correctly. So we are two maps in, and the aviators still have one shot at this. So let's see what map they go for. And that will be DM2. Okay. Rockets. All rocket launchers going to aviators. Nice jump, Skirk. Nice. They still get the quad. So that's a good start. That's a good start for the aviators. It, it looks like, yeah, they're still leading. Rockets, red armor, quad. So far the ninjas have nothing. They just have some armors. Milton and Nautilus waiting at red mega. Probably going to have an RL. And then somebody's going to escape. Low stairs, alrighty then. Nautilus is going to get the RL. And Milton will leave him to it. I guess Milton is waiting to teleport. No, 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 he's actually gone in and picked up the RL himself, as Nautilus has died. Nice, Rakate. Oof. Nice squad. Milton's honor is saved as he gets quite rocketed instead of melting in the lava. Billy, come on. Billy kicking some ass. I said Billy kicking some ass. Vreyton is in position for quad, he gets it. Who's shooting rockets at him? That's Milton. And Wilton, Milton went for a kamikaze run here. Took out the quad. They both dropped their RLs, I think. Somebody's gonna get there quick and get them before the enemy does. So the ninjas are waking up. Whoa, Billy w going away from this, walking away from this with just one HP. That grenade came so close. Aviators still in the lead. Ninjas looking a bit more stacked. Okay, so they have somebody at low 
Oh, never mind. It just lost some of that rocket launcher power on them that they had. Turbo has RL. Plenty of rockets too. Saving up for Billy, I guess. Yeah, Billy just got red from here. Meanwhile, Rakate gets the quad and a drop RL pack. That's pretty good. It's going to be, it's going to be able to wrap around the map. Uh, reach around the map even and cautiously opens that thing. Don't want to get pushed into lava by a shotgun. But the uh, the enemies had already left the room. Team kill! But it's okay, the aviators maintain that and frag lead. Two rockets, two reds, four the ninjas, and they don't show up to quad. I guess they're trying to uh, gear up before just throwing bodies at, at this, uh, this situation here. And it's working. The quad isn't finding anybody. Oh, he's gonna... Yeah, yeah that guy just escaped. I think I heard the teleport. So Skirk did not get anything from the squad. Meanwhile, the ninjas actually got rocket launchers and... ...brought this, uh, this aviator lead a little down. Down a little. Sorry. Fighting for kills. <laughs> There's enough of you with rocket launchers to you to land this eventually. Don't worry. I see two. Oh, that was three aviators. And the ninjas have taken the lead. It took five minutes. And they've inverted the lead that the aviators had. Ten frag lead. Solid run. Three RLs for the ninjas and armors. I guess. Ooh, Turbo died. He had RL. He didn't drop it to anybody, though. Because he has followed Milton's phone for a guide. Which gives you tips on how not to drop rocket launchers or weapons, but really rocket launchers, to anybody. Billy gets denied entrance, loses a rocket. Uh, I think Rakate will not pick it up, the, the item is still here. So there's an RL pack in front of Quad. And the ninjas have been wrecked. Still leading, but that shouldn't last long with that kind of... Nice! That's Rakate with a nice dollop of Bailey's flavored ice cream. Make that a whole bucket. So, again, the lead has switched over to the aviators. And I have a vague recollection that this game is going to keep on giving in this manner. Oof. So I was talking of a a bucket of ice cream for Rakit. It's now turned into a tub. Oh, wow. I lost I lost count, but that was quite a few frags during that quad run, and he keeps on fragging without the quad even. 
because obviously all of these guys are going to be respawning somewhere. Wow, that's a solid run. The aviators have gone from plus 10 at the 7th minute to plus 40 at the 8th minute. Brilliant performance by the aviator captain. Nice shotgun in from Stalker. Oh, there you go. Oh, not able to finish the job with what shotgun done at the teleport. It's okay. So looking back at the discussion regarding um, our comment, me and Nidvar, that both finals were one-sided, I, I have to agree with uh, Milton having a bone to pick with this, because obviously this game is not exactly what you would call one-sided, the series that is. Aviators, 550 frags in the lead. And going at it again with the quad. Anybody want to respawn here? Plus 50 for the Aviers. This is great. Although they have all but lost their advantage, they only have one RL, one red. Skirk is going to be waiting for the next rocket launcher down there. Uh, Vreten is at high RL, looking to get it again, hopefully. But doesn't work, he dies. What? What? Team kills? That's okay, the, the aviators are all in position. And Rakate almost gets a second team kill out of this. Nice. Turbo. Helpfully respawns twice in his face. And Stalker is losing his mind over I'm not sure what, but it is happening. Oh, he's got a brilliant grenade frag on, on Billy the Kangaroo, I guess. Milton defending this, wow. Pushes, essentially pushes Rakate into his own rocket. And that the aviators again robbed of their gear. Milton is going to get rid of uh, of the aviators trying to secure high ro high rocket launcher. Yeah, so aviators have all but run out of weapons again, and the lead that frag lead is melting away like that ice cream in the lava pit. Thank you! That, that's very kind of you, respawning right here. So I think... It looks like Milton has plugged in his, his peripherals as the ninjas are now... ...catching up with the aviators in a uh, worrisome... Worrying? Worrisome? ...fashion. Oh, that's two of them conveniently lined up at the quad. Okay, they split apart, so it's not going to be two for one. And they managed to defend this one out. Yeah, three of them, four of them at the quad room. Yeah, okay, the aviators are back in possession of stuff. And that is rocket launchers, armors, and the quad. So that lead had melted down to about 30 frags. It's now back up to 40.
Yeah, they have, they have these three rocket launchers that quite helped as well. And they're back up to plus 40 something in the 13th minute. Worried at 50 down, but no, it was still possible. Yes, on DM2, it is very much possible to come back 50 frags. Or more, actually, for that matter. If you get a good map lock in, you can go on getting frags for some time without the enemy being able to retaliate. Which is one of the things people like to hate about DM2. Nice! Rocket pack! Yeah, not gonna risk it, he picks it up. We're back on Milton, by the way. Ah, oh, secret red waiting for him. What is in 10 seconds? Anybody making their way up there? Billy is there. But Kate is there on the other side. That location called Low Life always makes me chuckle. No, you're the Low Life. Ooh, what? That quad got denied by a grenade. Is that what I just saw? I want to be sure I see this correctly. Maybe the kid gets a grenade. And yes, he gets taken out by Rakate's grenade. Alright, that's what happened. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting about... Items clock, I think it's called, but I'm not going to uh, reset the item or what. Don't worry, this will go away. That was just 10 seconds. That lead, that lead is dwindling. 20 frags now, just, just 20 frags. And it looks like, you know, when I was talking about a map lock early on, looking at the, uh, the team overlay, it looks like ninjas have everything. Ah, Vreten has one RL. Okay, the aviators are looking to gear up. But... Yeah, it looks like uh, ninja map lock to me. Or pretty close to it. What? Oh, I guess he, he hit the, uh, the door frame. So the ninjas got control and we are now back to just a 10. There we go, 10 frag lead for the aviators. This is looking... This is looking bad for them. And it's going to be the ninjas reclaiming the lead very shortly. Two frags, one frag. Milton with a quad. Okay, that's... Teams are tied. Red leads. Rocket launcher available. Anybody wants them? So far, several changes of lead. I have to find a better way to call this. Oh, that's three of them with no weapons. Come on, get them. That's one. And they have mega health and armor spread all among themselves. So he does have to shoot at all of them in sequence. Ow. Hey, well done. Vreten takes out Milton, the quad guy. 
This is still problematic. The ninjas are leading by 20 frags. 20 frags in 2 minutes is not unheard of on DM4, uh, DM2. Vacade has, has a full stack. Is he going to get the power up and make use of that? Well, he's lost all of the stack. Quad coming up shortly. The Kate falls down, has to waste some of that stack going back up. Nice, using the splash on the front wall to take her, uh, take her of baby the kangaroo. Yeah, team kill, that's very nice. Squeaky bum time, yeah. Holy shit. Nautilus narrowly escapes that quad rocket coming after him. And the aviators are just going to chill in the in that room while being out of control and out of down and uh, I guess they just want to go for one last huzzah, restack in this room if at all possible, and then throw bodies at the quad. And hopefully that'll work. Ten frags. And it so far it kind of works in the sense that everybody has lost their weapons and armor. That's growing back, as you can see. And that is a quad boar from the aviator lead uh, with 15 seconds to go and 10 frags comes at the worst possible time for them. Ten frags. Woo! Well, that was a hot game. So, there we have it. That is the... Um, That's the Nautilus Ninjas taking the crown in the open division for Get Quad Season 3. Uh, yeah, it was worth checking out this game for sure. Now, I believe there may be a couple of other games that I haven't seen yet that I didn't get to cast that I could do from MVVs. Well, I'll see about this. But in the meantime, uh, tune in later today. Well, if you're watching this after... Sorry, but it's a different broadcast. Later on today, starting at 9, the uh, two nights run on the Chop Chop Cup, where we will be playing Catalyst. I'm signed up, uh, because first round games are boring, so we might as well have a fun game with some wine. And then, since this is pretty quick, we'll be switching to the Division 2 Bronze Final of Get Quad S3 at 10. And that will be hard... Uh, okay, I need to read this again. I'm not even sure. It is Billy the Kid's Thugs versus Glad's Gladiators. So... Tune in at 9 or 10 for either. And uh, and we'll have some, some fun here. I'm hoping that Nidvire will be casting with me. At least for the 4-on-4, four four, that is. Reminder, tonight is Catalyst. Oh yeah, tomorrow is Tuesday. Okay, so quick reminder regarding the... Uh, what's it called? The Chop Chop Cup? Tonight, Catalyst. Tomorrow, ZTN, DM3. Wednesday, Shifter, Thursday, Aerowalk, Friday, DM6, Saturday, DM4, and Sunday, Aerowalk again. And starting from tomorrow, the Chop Chop Cups will be uh, will start at 10 o'clock instead of 9 o'clock, so some people can join in. Since we don't have 4 on 4 after this, it's all good, since it just takes one hour. Where's DM2? Maybe next week? I guess, I guess next week we can have a full week of DM2 just for you. 
yeah, later start. That helps with a few people who need to uh, take care of uh, take care of their family a bit, which seems like a sensible thing to do. So that would be Nautilus and Say, uh, among others. But we'll find that. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna have myself some steak. Thank you for tuning in. See you in an hour and a half for some duel and four-on-four four action. Cheers.